Tony Whitman from L3 Harris is with us. He is the cryogenic optical test director for the James Webb Space Telescope. Boy, it's a long title, but we're glad to have you on the show, Tony. <laughs> thanks for a few minutes. Well, thanks for having me on here. Right off the top, let's talk about it. Uh, how were L3 Harris here uh, employees locally in Rochester involved with NASA's uh, Webb Space Telescope and the launch back on December 25th? Well, as your audience may know, uh, right now the web is a million miles away from Earth. And right now this James Webb Space Telescope team is starting a three-month process of aligning all the primary mirror segments and the secondary mirror um, to get those pristine astronomical images from deep space and as well as spectra from exoplanets starting in June. But uh, before they got to the process, someone had to put all those mirrors and detectors and optical components in the right location here on Earth, and that's where L3 Harris came in. We were responsible for uh, designing and building the equipment and, and precision aligning and assembling all those mirrors and detectors onto this space telescope. How do you think the talent of employees here in Rochester helps for programs like the NASA Webb Telescope? The L3 Harris Space and Airborne Systems in, uh, in the Rochester area uses employees that have had experience putting together space telescope assemblies um, that dates back all the way to our Eastman Kodak company roots. Uh, we go all the way back to making space telescopes to orbit the moon to find landing sites for the uh, first astronauts on the moon. Uh, so we have a long history of people skilled in aerospace technology, precision optical assembly, uh, and, you know, we take advantage, as I said, of the industrial base in the Rochester area. We also take advantage of skill sets developed by our local technical institutions like the MCC or RIT or the University of Rochester. So what's next for L3 Harris? Uh what programs are being worked on now that we might learn about at some point in the future? So we, we're in the middle of uh, many space programs. Uh, in fact, when I returned from the test back in 2017, I started on NASA's next generation, a great observatory that's following the web. This is called the Nancy Grace Rowan Space Telescope. Um, and this telescope is designed to uh, solve or go towards solving the mysteries of uh, dark energy, dark matter, uh, unforeseen galaxies. We're also working on a project called LISA, which stands for uh, Laser Interferometer uh, Space Antenna. And that is uh, three telescopes that will be in a triangular configuration on orbit. And what they do is measure the relative movement of those three telescopes to detect gravity waves. So you can think of it as a gravity wave telescope. Well, it's certainly heady stuff. And it's fascinating to think that so much of this work is being done by uh, talented people right here in our community at L3 Harris. Tony, thanks for a few minutes. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Hey, if you want thanks to learn more online, uh, the website is l3harris.com. We'll share that link as well on our site at rochesterfirst.com.